everybody. Good morning. All right. Our customers, of course, are going to receive iOS 12 as a free software update. And so for iOS 12, we are doubling down on performance. And I'm going to use an example of a popular phone from a few years ago. This is the iPhone 6 Plus. Now on that device, iOS 12 delivers a number of improvements across common operations. You'll see that apps launch up to 40% faster. The keyboard can come up up to 50% faster, and you can slide to take a photo at up to 70% faster. Now, our deepest focus this year is optimizing the system when it's under load, and that's where you need performance the most and where iOS 12 really shines. Now, we've put iOS 12 through our stress test, and we saw in those conditions, share sheet coming up twice as fast and apps launching twice as fast. Well, now in iOS 12, we're much smarter. When we detect that you need a burst of performance, like when you begin scrolling or launching an app, we ramp up perf uh, processor performance instantly to its highest states. Now, next I wanna talk about notifications. Now, notifications help keep us informed and connected to important things that happen throughout the day. And we'd, we'd like to give you more control over how many notifications you receive. And so we're enabling what we call instant tuning for notifications right from the lock screen. You can press in to a notification, and from there you can decide to send future notifications from that app directly to Notification Center, bypassing your lock screen, or turn them off altogether. And Siri will even help by suggesting that you turn off notifications for apps that you're no longer using. Now, we also wanted to give you help managing large numbers of notifications. So I'm thrilled to announce that we're bringing to iOS support for grouped notifications. <laughs> notifications are grouped not just by app, but also by topic and thread. It gives you a great overview of the notifications you've received. You can tap in and look at a particular group, but of course, just as important, with a single swipe, you can triage a whole group of notifications away. So that's notifications. But we've done more, much more. And we have a lot to cover today. And it starts with augmented reality. Now, in looking for something to measure, I ended up digging through the, uh, the attic and uh, came upon my uh, old suitcase from my traveling days in college, a lot, of, a lot of memories in here. Now, I'm actually in the, the Measure app. And you see, I can easily measure along this suitcase by just tapping and dragging out a line like that. And check that out. It's a measurement. Now, what's really cool is I can extend these measurements. So I can just tap. Drag along another edge, just like that, and even take it into full 3D by dragging down to the bottom, like that. Isn't that cool? Here we have Assembly Square. It's one of our LEGO Creator sets, and already has so many great details, it's awesome to play with. But wouldn't it be great if we could take things even further? Well now, with 3D object detection, we get to recognize our models and bring them to life. And just look at all of those rich details we can now bring into our sets. Because when we combine physical and digital together like this, it really opens up those creative play possibilities. And there's so much to do here. If you see these icons above people and objects, well, they represent missions and stories that we can explore. But we wanted to make Siri able to do much more for you. And we're doing that by taking advantage of the power of apps with a new feature we call Shortcuts. Now, with Shortcuts, any app can expose quick actions to Siri. Let's look at some examples. Now, say you have the Tile app because you're always losing your keys. Well, the Tile app can expose the option to add a shortcut to Siri. You can assign your own phrase, such as, I lost my keys, would be a good choice. And when you then say it, 
Siri will automatically activate tile and show you right in the Siri UI, start ringing your tile just like that. With uh, shortcuts, Siri can do so much more. So for instance, let's say you order a coffee every morning at Phil's before you go to work. Well now, Siri can suggest right on your lock screen that you do that. You tap on it and you can place the order right from there. And so we went a step further. We wanted to let you create your own shortcuts as users by, of multiple steps across multiple applications. And we're doing it with a new Shortcuts app. So with the Shortcuts app, you could do something like create a, a shortcut for surf time. And it could go get you the surf report, look up the current weather, get you the ETA to the beach, and even create a reminder for you to put on sunscreen when you get there. Now, it's all done with simple drag and drop steps in the shortcuts editor right here. It's really easy. And photos is the best way to relive and share those moments. This year, we're making photos even better. And it starts with search. Search has powerful object and scene recognition. Let you search for photos based on things like searching for cars, or dogs, or flowers. And it's a great way to explore your library. But in iOS 12, search now starts working for you even before you start typing with search suggestions. It'll highlight things for you like key moments and people that are important to you, places where you've taken some great photos, and even categories of photos like hiking and water sports. And search is much more powerful than ever. You can search for places by business name. So you could search for SF MoMA or even a broad category like museum. And photos indexes over 4 million events by time and place, things like sporting events and concerts. And so you can search for them and find photos you took at those events. And search is super powerful. You can now search for multiple search terms like surfing and vacation, and even get suggestions for additional search terms to help you find exactly what you're looking for. Next, let's talk about apps. And to tell you about the latest, I'm gonna hand it off to Susan. Some of our most popular apps, starting with one of my favorites, news. With our new browse tab, you can discover new channels and topics, and we've made it even easier to dump, jump to your favorites, because that's why they're your favorites, right? News shines on the iPad. We've added a new sidebar, and it's a great way to navigate. It makes it easy, and I think fun, to dig into the areas you're most interested in. So that's news. Now, we've completely rebuilt the Stocks app, and it's got a beautiful new design. Of course, you can still see the stock prices and the changes at a glance, but we've added spark lines, those little charts, that show the stock performance throughout the day. You can tap on any stock to get a more detailed view, so you can see an interactive chart that now includes after hours pricing. CarPlay will also support third-party navigation apps. So now you have even more choices when you use CarPlay. Now, next I'd like to talk about one of the most important uses of our devices, and that's communication. And we'll start with messages. Messages has given us fun ways to express ourselves with emoji and now animoji. And one of the things that make animoji so fun and is how expressive they are, you know, from smiles to frowns to nods of the head and blinking of the eye. Animoji do such an amazing job tracking our expressions. And this year, we're taking animoji to a whole new level, the breakthrough new technology we call tongue detection. <laughs> That's right. Now you can make your favorite an emoji do this. <laughs> We're all going to be sticking out our tongues to our phones in the near future. Now we've also, we're also introducing some great new an emoji that I think you're all going to love, like ghost, koala, tiger, and T-Rex. <laughs> but we wanted to take an emoji even further, by making them even more personal. So I'm thrilled today to announce the arrival of the era of 
Memoji. <laughs> with, that's right. With Memoji, you can create your very own personalized Animoji. Now, these Animoji can look like you or the real you. And we've worked hard to build a deep set of customization options to let our customers create an incredibly diverse set of Memoji. It's really incredible what you can create. Because today, we're introducing group FaceTime. Now, you'll be able to FaceTime with two people, three people, actually up to 32 simultaneous participants. Gonna join right in. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Now check it out. So it's this beautiful FaceTime UI. We have these big, gorgeous tiles right up front where you see some of the leaders of the FaceTime team. And down at the bottom, there's an area we call the roster that contains everybody else. And of course, I'm right there in the lower right-hand corner. And this is iOS 12. Improved performance, new AR experiences, Siri suggestions, screen time, Memoji and fun effects in the messages camera, and group FaceTime. I hope you like it. I'm gonna hand it back to Tim.